folks, I'm back over here on this two-story house, and uh, bees are even meaner than yesterday. But anyway, um, oh lordy, oh, I'm gonna have to put the jack and bail on again. I hate that. But uh, I want to show you what I had to do. I had to cut open a couple of uh, sections to the right and to the left of where the hive was, and they're clustered up in there. We were thinking they were in the wall, but they're they're just uh, they just moved over. Let me take you in and show you what we we got here. So to open this, this is where the hive was originally. Okay. Right here. Alright. And there ain't a whole bunch of activity going in there. And I uh, open this up. There's a little bit of bees there. And we're going to come over here. Okay. I'll show y'all what we got here. <laughs> okay. You think the queen's up in there or what? I'd say so. Okay, and I've already got popped twice. So I'm hoping to get the queen, cage her, and we can get all the bees in our boxes. And uh, I come back and seal them up and uh, you know take these bees out of here for these people. But I'm gonna tell you right now, shall we? You're gonna want, you're gonna probably want to pinch this queen. I'd set them up, get them going, see how they do, you know, give them give them a bunch of different chances. They may be fine, you know, once they're you know domesticated. <laughs> You know, hit some high boxes where they can be managed. They, they may not have the attitude that they've exhibited here, but you may wind up having to pinch her and requeen this hot. All right, folks. So this is where we are. Took a dustpan and took several dustpan dustpans full of bees and dumped them into the hive box, and they started orienting to the hive box. Uh, and then I just couldn't. I didn't see her, so I went ahead and did some bee quick and just pretty much ran them out. And so as you can see, they orient to the box. And uh, this is the second day. I'm gonna leave the setup here and uh, come back uh, probably tomorrow and um, check on them again. Hopefully she'll uh, she'll exit and she'll uh, go into the, the setup with the rest of the bees. Hey folks, JB here. It's day three on this uh, particular hive. There are still some bees on the inside, but you know nothing like we had. It's just loaded with bees. I added a, a medium as well. There's some in the medium, but there's a bunch. This deep is completely filled. And I'm gonna go through it right now and just see if I can't find our queen. Okay. Frame rest really comes in handy, folks. Okay, a frame holder, whatever you want to call it. I mean, you see, uh, without it, I would put the frame on the ground. Frames back. Put this one in. We got our queen, folks. 
stay on here so I can zoom in on her and show y'all. Oh, that's fantastic. I think. <laughs> because these were the bees we were telling y'all that were a little unruly. But uh, I didn't smoke these today. I'm going to let y'all know that too. They, they seem to be a lot better today. So let's see if we can't zoom in on her. Let's see. There she is. Very happy to get this queen, folks. I want y'all to know that. So, we probably got her yesterday. That's what I'm thinking. What I'll do is I'll, I'll leave the setup here and I'll come back. Uh, I'll give them another day and then I'll go ahead and be quick again and try to run whatever's left in and then seal the opening up. But uh, as you can see, we got a, we do have our queen, and uh, you know we're in, we're in September, uh, September 10th today. So you know we didn't see any signs, of, you know uh, we saw some queen cups and things like that. But I would say this is our current queen. Okay, so we're not in the reproductive, uh, you know, se September. You know, it's not early spring, so. In early spring, man, I was removing hives that had three and four queens. I was finding, you know, just because they were, you know, preparing to, to, to throw reproductive swarms. But uh, this time of the year, you're going to pretty much have one queen, for the most part. Some may argue that, you know, you, uh, you can always have a mother and daughter type setup. But uh, most of our bees are in the box, and uh, everybody seems content. So we give a one more zoom in and uh, go ahead and put her back in and put that put our medium on top and uh, I would say that this has been one successful removal okay it required three trips it'll require one more Oh, Charlie, folks, you can get him on the phone. Got him? I got him, man. Good, good. She in the box. Oh, that's good. She was in the box. So she was in the box. Oh, she was? Yeah, I got. I guess I got her yesterday. And uh, she one of them tiger stripes, you know, like we've been getting. Yeah. Yeah, she's not shy either. She yeah. she just running around on them frames. I got to film real good. You know I'm recording you right now, right? <laughs> you better believe I am. <laughs> I told everybody I'm calling Shaw Wee, man. I got to tell them I got the queen. Tell everybody hello. How y'all doing, people? I'm sitting here at the camp. I'm making up beds if we got some guests coming over tonight. All right, shall we? Okay. Later. Take care. All right. Very, very ecstatic right now that we got that queen. Ooh. Man, you know? So, hey, y'all have a good one. Another video brought to you by JP the B-Man. Y'all have a good day.